path of infinity. Intersectional super sentient goddesses, golden as the futurist forms we do not know of yet as our incarnates. You are the boldest vestal and priestess, soul full of nature, and those they call beasts that are truly and honestly Buddhic and Tirthankaric forms of peoples forgotten, like those that they tortured as beings that only wanted to offer us solace and deeds and prophecies as polymorphic as the reasons we are meant to evolve existence in these precincts. How could I possibly honor you in lore enough to extol your meanings and primordial forms and these gleanings that are but audible glimpses into foreign predictions of all that we are meant to be? Please forgive me for not doing this before and for all the times we talked less than we thought of in essence, yet I know we are always interconnected. Regardless of Takuyo Yasin, Tsika Kumim Gyosa, oracular priestess, prophetess of our thoughts that are always there to remind us telepathically and ionically that Anoya reforms us each morning that's dawning and evolving, an ode to the evening, potent breathing, hostess of beaming, cosmos and all that is within it. We seem lost as sentience, but the streams of what forms your energy brings us back to primordial existence. You are Leonic, a being superconscious that vests all who disrespect Pachamama and her children, her denizens. You are the waters of fresh gorges and those of temples hidden like Ninti in northern precincts as well. Mistress of borderless evenings and dawns like gardens, indigenous beaming gods existing in interim in oceans and beyond this in skies of totems and oracles I could not honor you in this form still as I tried regardless beyond this my will is evolving who I am and all that's instilled as the beings of Shakti that you are I always wish to be and will to us tu es une être surnaturelle qui apparaît en ta forme humaine et supernale en elle veut détruire les sorts d'une vie vaine de la mort tu es immortelle encore et plus belle que tant pour Je le dire, mais moi je ne suis pas ce que je parais comme futur capitaine. Je ne suis que la servante écarlate de la noirceur primordiale. Et je dois m'éclipser bientôt pour mes prochaines missions dans un futur quantique de réalité qui doivent être meilleures que ce monde de ouf dans lequel on vit sans le réaliser. What I should call you an honest is beyond comprehension. Parce que dans tout ce que tu dis et fais, you are supreme homage to all. In deeds and processes inside your divine mind, you speak. Speak and I marvel like watching sublime epochs Blavatsky described and far beyond them in altered carbon forms and quantum realities formless like palaces that do not yet exist in the course of time. Je voudrais te dire en cent huit langues à quel point tu es maravillosa porque tres lenguas no son suficientemente por te hablar de amor a suprema. Em yari tu es la real vida en multiversos de budismo y dharma sanatana de mujeres y dios de India y a 
I'm Harika. You are an eon in the flesh in a way I couldn't even describe to anyone except to yourself. And believe me, I've tried to the point where my friends laughed as respectfully as possible and thought I just wanted to get with you, but nah, they didn't get it at all. This bond is more intimacy already when I talk to you in linguistics and alma y corazón in metaphysics and parapsychology than I could ever tell you with this tired body and wired mind. And yet I am not tired at all as a swordsman and machetero. I am also a marvel in senses described by the X-Men. We are the new mutants they talk of as fiction made to truly distract us from thoughts that express the beauty of schools with professors in days of future past. These are the last days of the latter, yet we are not saints nor simply sinners for that matter. I pray the Ionic Vestal get that you are so far beyond Omega level that a classification of your abilities in supernatural halo isn't measurable or even possible. When I expressed it numerologically as 44th in density, I should have rather said 88, because 8 is the gateway to shamanic infinity. Je te dis ce poème est écrit en ces temps parce que je crois honnêtement que tu es la personne la plus belle au-delà de tout autre, même que j'aurais dû honorer il y a longtemps déjà lorsque j'ai su au départ à quel point tu m'aimais ou tu pensais à moi que ma musique t'entrançait et te faisait voir des mondes impensés de foi. If I had known back when we first met what you thought of me really, I would have probably zoned out of my mind and gone instantly farther than rocket ships in the cosmos and the realms of divinities. I wish I could have divined your mind. I wish I could have tried to tell you infinitely. I wish and I wish and I wish I could have visited before this and just remembering you're here still and we're talking again because you found me after we disappeared for a while reminds me that we're a lot more than kindred spirits or comrades or friends even if of course there's still a lot to evolve in the process of this existence manufactured to con and trick us I can hardly tell you how much I miss your voice but even more so just thinking of your body's proximity and watching you walking up after all these years not to comprehend it but as you said it when it's meant to be it will be and until then I should try to enjoy whatever I can in this demonic system and its feelings its hells its thoughts and descriptions of what they call existence since the attachments of humanoids and their ilk in this horrid prison we are the most important but we should ponder and consider this in the battle for survival and supremacy yet and still believe this message because you simply designed it from inside me to remind your truest selves of their impossibly beauteous and gorgeous intellects and psyches, subtle bodies and spirits from in dark into enlightened, as intersectional mutant prodigies and hells from the darkest to the brightest, from those freezing to the warmest and hottest, breezing through them as quickly and expertly, and all of this is covert operatives of shield and war zones, where the fallen walk amongst us, and the zombies are not as infected yet that they will be in this apocalypse that reveals us to all and we will the weapons divine that we were always meant to in a line that's symbiotic with Gaia's denizens. And the path of infinity is la vida in ti, goddess of all creation. When we talk and I ponder your conscience awestruck, it's like all of the constructs in my mind fall into proper order sublimely without a fractional thought gone awry. Yet when I try to honor you in poems, there's a lot that's not known. How I ought to jot omens as incomparable as you are, eonic goddess of modest abodes, as shamanic as the floral encodings of your gorgeous dome. When you watch over me and talk of all of our odes, you are the tzigan irada they did not know of. Far beyond the densities they all but show us who evolved from the forest she sought to grow in. You are the darkness that glows, the diaspora of all of the continents forgotten is golden. The rainbow tribes alliances that we ought to have told of. You are the copy vines of old that the moss divines and shows us. The rocks of gorgeous and flows of fjords with sources of water that watches offer us soulfully. You are my highest soul, my paramatma of desires as bold as tigers and lionesses that roam the savannas below us. The mana of olden times in Hawaii and Haida Gwaii, the lore of the Shawwood, the sassafras that guides me to matchless tidings when I'm harassed by liars hapless that try to avoid the laughter of tidings we had to have to
to provide us with mathematical alignment. The magical islands we drive to are smiling and bustling as Aldous Huxley's reincarnate. You are the solace of dusk we breathe in calmly, providing the substance of ethers ganja, the seers of Ajna that see us and reveals the yantras of Sri Amam Swami and Radha. You speak of when I talk of and I sing, I am but a lofty apostle of your awesome hymns. When I die in your arms, I'm reborn again. As meek as the warrior, my tidings chalk and its opposite also. The glory of Mataya walking my alma to fly as formless as swans like Paramhansa. Nada could stop us from evolving the Sodom they thought us caught in.